Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to talk about Darktable which is to me one of the best free software to edit your Leica raw images. I'm going to demonstrate by editing and creating a black and white image and a color image. Let's do it. So we got a first photo which is a flower and the second one is a photo of a person in the middle of a garden. So I don't know which one to pick as a black and white. I believe this is a good candidate for a black and white image. And the photo of the flower is a good candidate for a color image. Now, this is not a exactly a tutorial for dark table because if you're looking for a dark table tutorial, there are many, many awesome tutorials available in the internet. I recommend you to go and see them yourself because you know it's pretty easy to understand. What I'm going to show you is my workflow to edit Leica images in Darktable, which is completely 100% free and amazing. Now, this image, I'm gonna start with step by step. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to try to fix the lens with the lens correction. So, the lens profile is already there, so all I have to do, click this little button. It doesn't do much because lens is perfectly corrected, which is amazing. Chromatic evolution, I turn it on, but there's not much of a chromatic evolution going on. And because the quality of the RAW, especially coming from Leica, is so much good, that, you know, minimal editing is your key, I'm telling you. You don't really need to overdo anything at all because out of the box, Leica gives you just beautiful color. Now, the raw denoise thing is, I'm not really sure if I want to use that because I'm just gonna zoom in one on one and click raw denoise on and off. So if it's off, I have better detail than if it's on. So in that case, I am going to turn this on on and good news is that the image does not have much of the noise. It's a very low ISO image, 100, which is brilliant. So I'm just gonna turn this on off and I'm done in this department. Now moving on to the key one, which is the mosaic. So it looks like a mosaic is, I'm just gonna click one into the color soothing. It's not a huge thing. You don't even need to touch him, to be honest with you. And then moving on, the histogram looks just perfect. You know, to be honest, this image actually looks perfectly exposed. What is missing is the color, a little bit punch in the red, in my opinion. So what I can do, I can go to the color and turn on this little button called Velvia. And in a moment, you see that actually it looks nice and punchy. I'm just gonna turn off and on. You see that it has this little, Punch. It's almost like a saturation, but it's not. It has the velvia tone. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring it up to my taste. You know, your photo may look different than mine. So I like to pull it up as much as I can. Then I'm going to go to the color contrast, turn this one on, and turn on the green magenta contrast up just to see what it's giving me. And what it's giving me is that really beautiful color of rose. Now that is exactly, exactly what I'm looking for. Now, important note at the bottom, you have these little buttons. So I'm gonna turn on to see if anything is clipping. And it is clipping. For example, on the far right is dark, so I can just crop it out. Same with the left, I can just do a little crop in between. We're gonna get it to it later. And what else? So toggle, Gamma checking, which means it's going to tell me which one is way too, you know, saturated. So clearly my red is actually a little bit too much saturated. So I'm gonna pull it down maybe a little bit, not too much, just a little bit, because I still like the, the red. And then I'm gonna go to the curve. So once I'm done here, I'm gonna go to the curve, which should be somewhere here. There you go. That's exactly what I'm looking for. And I'll, I'll pull, it up the mid tone so is giving is making everything nice and bright now in the lower section i'm gonna pull it down a little bit to give it a little bit contrast now bam now we are talking 
Now, once I'm done, which I think that I'm done, I'm just gonna, you know, pull it up just a little bit like that. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna slow it down a little bit and pull the lower shadow up. Gives a nice little, you know, film look. Maybe just a little bit there. Now, looks just fine to me. I'm gonna close it and then I'm gonna go to the sh highlight and try to reduce my highlight a little bit. Now it looks much better, nice and soft. Now I'm gonna zoom into my rose. Looks perfectly nice and sharp to me. I believe I'm done with the editing because the color look just spot on, period. All I have to do is to crop it. Now, how do I crop it? And you can rotate and crop. So I don't need to rotate it, I think it's good. What is missing is the crop tool. So where is it? Now I'm gonna pull it like that from the corner and bring it in the middle. And maybe I would like to give it a little bit, you know, what do you call it? The rule of third, not in the middle, but somewhere on the side and close it. And look at that. Looks much more personal to me. Now we're done with this one the color now we're gonna move on to black and white so black and white it's actually easy so first thing you have to do before you go to black and white you have to fix the exposure a little so i'm gonna go to the exposure first and close this one all the unnecessary tables and turn on the exposure bring it up not too much just about when everything is visible which is very important and then immediately you can go to the crop and rotate. There you go. That's the crop. And beam somewhere there. Bring it in the middle. I like it a lot because I like a little bit that sun on the top. Once it's done, I'm going to close it. Now it's much better. Now we're going to check. I think the lens correction looks very, very good. I don't need to do any kind of lens correction, which is amazing. The last thing is left is monochrome. So let's turn this one on. Now, right off the bat, it looks just fantastic. Now we have option here. Do you wanna emphasize on the green? So you can move it to green and see what is going on. Or you can go to the red, if you want it really, really contrasty. You know what I mean? So you can move around see what is working for you. I like to keep it a little bit in the middle. Now, once I'm done here, I'm gonna go back to the curve, which should be somewhere here. There you go, the base curve. Now I'll move up the top mid-tone and slow down, pull down the lower shadow, give it a little S curve. And what is happening here is now, it's becoming super minimalist, like you're paying attention to the middle and everything else becoming almost invisible. That is brilliant. So we got what we want. Now, I would like to go back to the exposure and move it up maybe a touch again to give it a little bit global look. And in the highlight and shadow i'm going to close this base curve and in the highlight and shadow i would like to slow down the shadow the highlight a little bit it's by default recovered some shadow as well maybe i'll just turn this one down now once we're done we have a base here so i like the base in order to add sepia look or any kind of color cast you can use a free gimp or Affinity Photo or Photoshop if you have it to add some kind of yellow color tone on top of it, super easy. But to me, this is done. The sharpness look super good. Now we're going to export both of it right now by selecting Control A. And then I'm gonna go on the top to the light table and then go to at the bottom, which says export, check the folder that needs to be selected, which says Leica. Now select the output destination, make sure you select JPEG, or of course, if you want to do further editing, you should export as TIFF. 
For me, I'm going to select JPEG 100%. Everything else remains the same and click export. Shouldn't take too long. Uh, too long. Let's see what they give me. Now, there you go. That should be done by now. So this is our original photo that we did in black and white coming up in a second because it's a huge file. So of course, it's taking time. And now that's our final edit. Beautiful. I personally love it. And the color, that's our color photo. What a wonderful, glorious color output. Now, if we want to see the original, let me show you the original. So that's our original. And that's our final edit. So I hope you like this tutorial. If so, please like and subscribe. And I see you in future videos. Bye bye.